Are you going to give me a few uh, lyrics? Yes. Come on, give me some. Where is the love? Does that mean you're single? Yes, I'm single. <laughs> I'm <my> single. <laughs> so you can see, you can see by the, the barnacles on those pillars how high the water gets. Walking across the old track, I just hope the train doesn't turn up. Greetings, guys. I'm at the um, the Marriott Resort in Mommy Bay, and uh, this is very unusual in that there is, or there used to be, a train. A train. <laughs> Now, this is my first time here, so I... Uh, but um, there was a train that ran through here. Can you imagine a train running through a resort? I suspect the resort wasn't... Um, I suspect the resort wasn't here at the time that the, um, the last train passed through here, because I think this is a, this is a fairly recent resort fairly recently built resort and so you, you see the old train tracks there you've got the old train tracks and then they go off into the distance um, and they um, they seem to circum circumnavigate the resort which is just over there so you've got the resort here and that's the uh, the grand salon entrance just over there and you've got these buggy cars going past. And so, um, presumably people going off to play golf. And uh, so, and we've got the old railway track going across this bridge. So presumably there's a bit of razor wire, so you've got to be careful. Bula Bosso, this is the old railway track, eh? Yeah. Okay. When did it? When was it last used? Last year. This was still in use last year. Yeah. Really? So they've got the resort there, and they had this railway track. Yes. Yeah. My goodness. So this was still being used last year. Yeah. Still being used. Yeah. My goodness. And now it's no longer used, is it? Because was it still being used? Don't tell me. This year we're going to use it again. Really? For the sugar cane. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So they still, and look at the state of the track. It looks yeah. a bit, um, it looks oh. a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Eh? Yeah. So the trains will still come through here. Yeah. I thought they've stopped, but they're still going through here. So it must be a bit uh, dangerous with all the people coming to the resort, no? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to have a quick look over okay. there. Eh? Thank you, Vanaka. I just uh, walk, walk across these things, eh? Wow, can you believe that there is still, I thought the, the, um, the train was no longer in service, but it still is and I'm walking across the old track, I just hope the train doesn't turn up, because <laughs> then, then, then I'm stuffed, but there we go, so there is, and these tracks look really rusty they're not maybe they are I don't know maybe they need a good greasing wow I had no idea so the um again I'm at the Mommy Bay Resort so the Marriott at Mommy Bay and uh, they've got a sugarcane train that goes through the outskirts, and look at this, look at this, isn't that beautiful, the mangrove? So they've still got, um, look at that, all that mangrove there. Looks magnificent, doesn't it? Okay, so they've still got the, uh, the train, the sugarcane train. Look at that. Gotta be careful how you get across here. It's not too, not too hazardous. So let's just work our way through the, uh, the razor wire. Uh, that's a 
there's a bit that's quite sharp. Anyway, it wasn't my intention to come here today to the uh, the Mommy Marriott Bay Resort. My intention was to go and see the Mommy Gun. You may remember I went out to the, uh, well at least I tried to go and see the Mommy Gun earlier this year in January, but it was closed and I've gone again and it, it's been, it's, it, it re I'm a bit lost for words because it's very frustrating. It's closed again and I spoke to some guys there, there, there were some electricians there and they said they're doing some, some work and wiring and so for the duration, the, um, the mommy guns, which are these huge guns facing out into mommy bay, into the ocean, and they were positioned there to uh, counter the, uh, the threat of the Japanese invasion during the Second World War. If it hadn't been for the Battle of Midway, um, Fiji would have been a part of the greater prosperity sphere, the uh, the attempt uh, on of Imperial Japan to build an empire embracing the Pacific. So, so I couldn't see that gun, and I it's my second attempt. So anyway, I am here at the Mommy Bay Resort. So we're going to have a quick look around here. It's been one of those frustrating weeks. Um, in terms of vlogging, but let's, let's have a look at this this resort. My, it's my first time here, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can get some uh, have a coffee here at least. Okay, so we've got the uh, here we go. It's a Marriott Mommy Bay, and it's very quiet. I suspect it's one of the uh, the legacy of the, uh, the COVID um, shutdown, you know how COVID shut down most of the country. Well, I think Mommy is still feeling the effects of the situation. So let's go and have a quick look anyway. So we've got, uh, where is the entrance? I thought this was the entrance. This is not the entrance. This is very peculiar. As I said, it's my first time here. And um, there's no one around except for a few cars. And look at this. All right, okay. Looks like a... the uh, base of a tree. Anyway, so... into this resort. How on earth, where is the entrance? I'm at the Grand Salon part of the, um, of the resort and I don't think I'm in the right place. Okay, so Let's, as I said, it's my first time here and I'm uh, completely at a loss as to, and there's very poor signage here. Oh dear, it's just one of those things. Even uh, driving out to, uh, to see the Mobby Gun, you know, that, um, you know, there's very little to indicate where to go in order to go and see it. But anyway, so here we are. We're at the the, uh, the Marriott at Mommy Bay. It's a glorious day, very sunny, not as hot as it has been 
recently. It's uh, the edge is coming off the uh, the heat uh, as we um, shirk off the the um, uh, the hot season, and we uh, we're now officially today is the first of June, and uh, I think either today or maybe it could have been the first of May. It's officially the start of the uh, the cool season. So uh, look at these rocks. They've put all these rocks together, and there's some sort of structure right at the top there. Not sure what's going on there. Maybe they're they're just uh, private uh, borets. But um, anyway, so I've parked the car in this car park just over here again, and I spoke to some guys there. There, there were some electricians there. And they said they're doing some some work and wiring and so for the duration the um the mommy guns which are these huge guns facing out into mommy bay into the ocean and they were positioned there to uh counter the uh the threat of the japanese invasion during the second world war if it hadn't been for the battle of midway um Fiji would have been a part of the greater prosperity sphere. The, uh, the attempt uh, on, of Imperial Japan to build an empire embracing the Pacific. So, so I couldn't see that gun and I, it's my second attempt. So anyway, I am here at the Mommy Bay Resort. So we're gonna have a quick look around here. It's been one of those frustrating weeks um, in terms of vlogging, but let's, let's have a look at this, this resort. It's my first time here and we'll... Uh, we'll see if we can get some... Uh, have a coffee here at least. Okay, so we've got the... Uh, there we go. It's a Marriott Mommy Bay. And it's very quiet. I suspect it's one of the, uh, it's a legacy of the, uh, the COVID um, shutdown. You know how COVID shut down most of the country. Well, I think Mommy is still feeling the effects of the situation. So let's go and have a quick look anyway. So we've got, uh, where is the entrance? I thought this was the entrance. And this is not the entrance. This is very peculiar. As I said, it's my first time here. And um, there's no one around except for a few cars. And look at this. All right, okay. Looks like a the uh, base of a tree. Anyway, so you would enter this resort. How on earth, where is the entrance? I'm at the grand salon part of the, um, of the resort and I don't think I'm in the right place. Okay, so Let's, as I said, it's my first time here and I'm uh, completely at a loss as to, and there's very poor signage here. Oh dear, it's just one of those things. Even uh, driving out to, uh, to see the Mobby Gun, 
you know, it's, um, you know, there's very little to indicate where to go in order to go and see it. But anyway, so here we are. We're at the the uh, the Marriott at Mommy Bay. It's a glorious day. Very sunny. Not as hot as it has been recently. It's uh, the edge is coming off the uh, the heat uh, as we um, shirk off the the. Um, uh, the hot season and we uh, we're now officially today is the first of June and uh, I think either today or maybe it could have been the first of May is officially the start of the uh, the cool season so uh, look at these rocks they've put all these rocks together and there's some sort of structure right at the top there not sure what's going on there maybe they're they're just uh, private uh, bores, but um, anyway, so I've parked the car in this car park just over here, and uh, these railway tracks. It was quite lucky running into that guy walking across the bridge just then. Oops, because um, I just assumed, looking at the state of the tracks. And the fact there is a, a major resort here that um, they would no longer be in use. But yes, yes, the uh, the train is, or at least the uh, the train and it's and the uh, the the, uh, the carrying of uh, sugarcane would no longer be done. Uh, but yes, no, the uh, train's still in use. Uh, I don't know for how much longer. Well, I dear. I think she's, I think she's a bit busy, so she's doing the, uh, the laundry. So let's just uh, <laughs> now. I'm sure this is not the entrance to the resort, but I'm just curious to find out where these tracks lead. Uh, but isn't that fascinating? I've got a. sugarcane train going through the outskirts of this major resort, the Marriott, of course being interna internationally renowned. Um, there we go, there, there we got uh, the tracks go off in that direction. Um, but I'll tell you what, I think there seems to be some sort of life over there in that direction. So there's, there, I, I suspect something, the entrance or the, the uh, there is something, yeah, I think there is life. There is actually life over there. So I suspect that is where, oh, there, there is some life over here as well. There we go. A couple of tourists having, having some lunch. But anyway, <laughs> I'm curious to see I'm curious to see where this track leads us, this railway track. I have an insatiable curiosity. And um, I'm intrigued by the fact uh, that there is this railway track. And uh, tourists, when they're, uh, there you go, some tourists lounging over there and some having something, having a bite to eat. So there is a, there is certainly, there is certainly a life in that direction. But anyway, so we've got this railway track and um, according to that chap I just spoke to, I'm glad he was there. This is still in use. Uh, so it must be quite amusing for tourists to, uh, to be relaxing on a deck chair and all of a sudden they see this uh, um, diesel train uh, belonging to the Fiji Sugar Corporation trundling past ever so slowly uh, low laden with with carts laden with sugarcane 
and look at this. So, do you know, there's always some compensation in life if you, if you don't give up, if you're always looking and searching. On the way to the Mommy Guns, I saw the most incredibly beautiful mosque, which, um, went against all traditional styles of mosque architecture. So we've got the tracks and they go off in that direction. Hola, boss, how are you? I'm just looking around here. It's, it's fascinating, isn't it? You've got the, the railway tracks, eh? Yeah. And the train is still being used, isn't it? Yeah. They're, they're, it's, they're yeah. still carting. Sometimes it will be doing and do the tourists like it? They must like it, mustn't they? Eh? Yeah. To see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where does it go? It will go this way. Where, and where does that? Where does this track lead? It just the track lead up till uh, after the bridge on bridge. Oh, there's a bridge over there. there yeah, isn't it? over there, just in front there. Okay, I'm gonna have a look. Okay. Good. You work here at the resort. You're welcome. Okay, thank okay, you. Thank you. Okay, back up. Okay. Yes, uh, so there is a bridge, according to my, uh, to that, to that chap, that very polite chap I just spoke to. Um, there is a bridge. Uh, yes, I, can, I think I can see it just over there. Anyway, we don't need to concern ourselves with, this isn't a vlog about railway tracks. So look at these, look at the, um, look at the, uh, that beautiful, beautiful beach. If this was Waikiki, it would be full of people lounging on the sand. But this is Fiji and you, you get your own little private space. You can practically, practically call the beach your own. But let me just show you what it's like. It's just so, so beautiful. There we go. Oh wow. Nice chap singing. Yeah. How are you? You're just leveling it? Leveling the sand? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, like I said, this is my first time here, and I've just noticed something over there in the distance. These uh, these borays. Okay, so what you've got here is is a is an inlet. It's uh, it isn't a conventional beach. It's more an inlet, and the um, I think it goes out over there, and there is probably a along the stretch of a beach in that direction and then 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 the ocean but uh well also how are you okay good how are you good wow it's beautiful isn't it eh? yeah so you you do the um you do the uh the, the boats these small boats these are uh, jet skis jet skis that's what yeah. they are yeah okay all right. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Right. Have fun around there. Thank you. Okay, so. Yeah, what I wanted to show you, look, a little rivulet, a little stream. Okay, so. And they're doing the right thing here. They're planting, I don't know if they're planting, but they're these little small mangrove, mangroves, mango, mangrove plants uh, are taking are taking root. It's got more jet skis there. But look at those boats and the sorry, look at those borays. I never knew these they they, um, they had that sort of accommodation here. I could watch where I'm walking. Like I said I hadn't intended to come here otherwise I'd have brought my 
swimming costume, but um, you've got these interesting borets which seem to levitate over the water. Okay, so what a glorious day. So let's head off uh, into the, uh, the main part of the resort and see what's going on. Okay guys, so we're in the, uh, the main part of the uh, resort and we've got... Uh, Hola fellas, how are you? Okay. okay so we've got uh, these signs, oh there's a kids club and a gym and a spa, I could do with a good massage. Anyway there's the Voy Voy bar there so let's go and try, Hola dear, how are you? Okay. Let's have a quick hello with this, uh, this uh, lady over here. How are you dear? Good. Is this back from lunch? Uh, I'm going to have lunch, yes. Oh. You are Tamalesi. Yes. Are you, are you from Mommy Village? Uh, Tao Village. Tao Village, yes. okay, all right. And you're... Uh, this is my trolley. You're a trolley there. How's... Uh, room attendants. And you're your room attendant. Yeah. And you, you've got... How's occupancy at the moment? Is it, uh, is it quite high? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Going back, getting back to normal, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got aromatherapy. <laughs> and no sanitizer. Oh, you got sanitizer. Sanitizer here. <laughs> okay, no sanitizer. right. Okay. She's calling kit here. Okay, so that's now... It's a conditioner shampoo. Okay. So you've got... All this is now... Condition... Uh, sorry, um, sanitizers are now part of uh, laundry service, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Didn't used to be, eh? But now... Yeah, but... Ever yes, since COVID. Yeah. Since COVID is Okay, darling. Carry Have on. Have a blessed day. Thank you, dear. Like that. Okay, yeah, that's interesting because um, um, she's from, I think she said she was from Tao village. There is a village called Mommy, which is, uh, I visited Mommy village, but uh, anyway, so uh, interesting resort. You know, uh, as I've said, it's my first time here and you've got uh, these uh, hibiscus flowers. which you can quickly yank off and stick behind your ear to show how beautiful you are. Uh, as is the custom across the Pacific. So, so, I'm still looking for something resembling a main entrance and I still haven't seen it yet. So, uh, maybe, maybe, it's a, one of those newfangled resorts where they don't really have. Well, they don't usually, they don't normally have a main entrance. You know, everything's, uh, they're looking for new concepts of doing things. But, um, uh, okay, so we've got a lagoon here. Now, let's go and have a look at the lagoon. Oops. Okay. I'll watch where I'm walking here. So you've got. The lagoon in that direction. Let's see where the. Uh, uh, I, what I like about this place is it's nice and quiet. As the lady said, they've got uh, near to full uh, occupancy, but um, uh, it's always nice to have a resort where they've got quiet spots. Okay, now this this is interesting. Okay. So, oh, this is the lagoon we saw earlier. So, look at, the, look at those borets over there. Aren't they just gloriously beautiful? So you've got, uh, I suspect that is the main part of the resort just over there. And you've got these, look at these borets on these stilts. They are absolutely beautifully designed. Okay, I won't bother 
getting too close. I want to see if I can afford a coffee. <laughs> there you go. Isn't that fascinating? Imagine coming down those stairs into the ocean. You can you can also there is a walkway there. But uh, it's always interesting to come down those stairs, you know, wade across the water, onto the sand, and then you're into uh, the restaurant or bar or wherever it is you're going. Uh, but it, it is just so peaceful, so tranquil, so few people around. The water is a limpid blue, mirroring, not quite, but there is a, there is a sky uh, that bl dark blue sky there. So anyway, like I said, I hadn't intended I hadn't intended coming to this resort. Uh, otherwise, I would have uh, brought my swimming togs with me. But uh, there you go, some some kid probably. As, as, uh... Anyway, so uh, let's go and get a coffee. Or maybe we should have a little wander over in that direction over there and perhaps see what uh, signs of life are uh, transpiring in that quarter. And then perhaps come back to this place for a, a coffee. Let's see what the time is. It's almost lunchtime, I think. Yep, it is dead on one o'clock. So, I might inquire about uh, meals. Anyway, so you've got these wonderful palms. Look at these palms over here. Okay, so we're just gonna have a little wander off in this direction, see what's going on down here. And then, all being well, uh, You've got some more accommodation. Let's have a look at this one over here. You've got these uh, regular this is the sort of regular accommodation you find which is bog standard for hotels across Fiji but those uh, those borets suspended across the lagoon are just uh, are just exquisite they're just so beautifully designed. There's another place uh, called Liku Liku, Liku Liku Resort, and the, uh, the burrows there are very, very similar. Goji kitchen, I wonder, is it a kitchen for goji berries? Okay, so you've got, uh, you've got a WH Smiths here. You know, and okay, you've got just your uh, your regular shops. Look at that! Isn't that a great view? Imagine being seated in one of these chairs and and watching the sun go down and. be so so restful so wow okay very nice okay I think I've just about seen it already okay anyway game of chess anyone hello how are you doing right you fancy a game of chess with me? <laughs> You're working. 
Oh, I was just joking. Yeah, no, no, I was just joking. Okay, so, uh, okay. Wow, see how heavy these pieces are. Oh, they're made of plastic. That's really good. Okay, so anyway, so that's just about just about it really. This is my uh, my impromptu vlog here at the uh, Marriott in Mommy Bay. And for what it's worth, it being my first time here, I would I would quite I would rate it quite highly. I've got some ladies over. Let's have a quick. Let's, uh, I love talking to people. Hello, ladies. Bula. How, How are you, are you? ladies? All right. Good. How are you? Good. This lady looks like she's full of life. <laughs> and she's got a deki deki. Deki deki. That's what I was looking for. Okay. How are you? Very well, dear. So that, does that mean you're single? Yes, I'm single. I'm <laughs> single. Bye. Have a nice Bye. day. All right. Okay. Ah. Uh, that's what I love about the people of Fiji. They're all they're so full of life. They give so much back. Just so full of life. Anyway, uh, so I think I might just uh, head off and grab a coffee without breaking the bank. And, uh, and uh, see you in the next vlog. And thank you for watching. There's a lovely breeze that's now blowing. So uh, until the next time, with this chap bringing somebody's check, <laughs> Bula. Bula. somebody's bill. Oh, okay. No, that's. Oh, there you go. How are you, fellas? Okay. Okay. Bula. Okay. Okay. You're Peniasi. I'm Peniasi. And Bula. Will I am? Yes. You're a rap star. Yes. Where is the love? Will I am? The yeah. love. You're gonna give me a few uh, lyrics. Yes. Come on, give me some. Where is the love? The love. The love. Where, Where is, is the love? The love. The love. The love. <laughs> Good luck, fellas. Good luck. There you go. That's why you want to come to Fiji for a holiday. You meet, you meet some of the some of the friendliest people in the world. So uh, until next time, it's me signing off and uh, looking for my coffee refuge. A coffee refuge where I can have a coffee without becoming bankrupt with the, uh, the likely cost. <laughs> I'm, I'm exaggerating, of course. But anyway, that's me signing off and looking for a nice spot to have a coffee. So until next time, take care. Okay guys, quick post script. I'm actually in the area where the, um, the walkway, which connects all these, uh, these villas. Look at the uh, quality of the water there. So we're just having a little wander down here just to see what it's like. Quite beautifully constructed. So you can see, you can see by the, the barnacles on those pillars how high the water gets at high tide. It gets pretty high. So I, I would say that that is probably at least six feet in height. So. So, um, 
at high tide, if you're using the other the other exit, the um, the exit to the rear of the, uh, the villa, you would, really wouldn't want to wade your way across because, oh look at that view, isn't that just magnificent? Just fantastic view. Now I'll try and ask somebody if I, they might be able to give me some indication of how high or how deep it is at full tide. Because you can tell by the barnacles, oh look there's a, I don't know, he's a guy operating the buggy. Okay. So, it's just, uh, I mean, I, fascinating. Anyway, so just, we'll just go down to the end there and we'll call it quits. So this is just basically a postscript to everything I've just been saying. And uh, so we just we just come to the end of the walkway here, and um, look at those villas over there. There are more interesting villas over on that side. So let's just get a get to the end here and have a quick glimpse across this spectacular lagoon. If I was staying here, I'd love to get a villa right on the end. That looks pretty deep. Curious how deep it is at full tide, at, uh, at high tide. Hi, dear, how are you? Now, maybe you can help me, dear. At high tide I've seen the barnacles on the you know the uh, on the pillars how high how deep is it at full tide how deep, uh, at full tide dear no doubt. how deep is it right now do you know how deep it is right now is it is it higher than me yeah it is yeah so at high tide it's probably about eight, eight yeah. nine yeah, feet eight, eight. okay all right okay yeah. all right I'm just curious that's all you know oh. wow because you you know at high tide I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't, uh, you couldn't, you couldn't walk across. You had to swim. You would have see, to swim, wouldn't yeah, you? See. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you, ladies. Back up. Um, yes. Uh, uh, no. Oh, sorry. Okay. We are. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was going to be a, a mover, uh, All right. Okay. Oh. Oh well, so that's me finally, finally signing off. <laughs>